Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Today's video, we're talking about the C5 Corvette sun visors. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I've already done a video about replacing the visors in a Corvette. How to get them out and put them back in, that sort of thing. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why are we talking about sun visors yet again? Well, that's because the sun visors suck. Um, maybe six months or so after I replaced both sun visors in the car, the vanity mirror lid broke off. Let's see if I can... I don't know if you can see that. Both of them break right here where it hinges. And they didn't even break like while I was using it a ton. Um, they were in the car and then when I went to flip the visor down, the lid landed in my lap. Um, so they broke not even being used. And honestly, in that six months, I probably drove the car, I don't know, a thousand miles. It's not my daily driver. And when it's not in use, it sits here in the garage. So it's not outside uh, baking in the sun either. So pretty disappointed because these sun visors are, I don't know, 80, 90 bucks a piece. Um, so you're paying a Corvette tax to begin with. And then when they only outlast six months, uh, that's really disappointing. Uh, and so what happens when the visor um, vanity mirror lid breaks off, there's a little switch here, and that's what turns on and off uh, the lights. And so if the light's on all the time and the car is sitting, uh, it runs the battery down. Now I've got the car on a battery tender, so it's not the end of the world, but I don't want to leave it with the the mirror lights on all the time that's just kind of bootleg and at first i was like well fine i'll just pop out the the bulbs but with these i don't know if you can see in there very well um they're an led bulb and they're hardwired in there so it's you can't just pop out the the bulb that would have been too easy so in the meantime i pulled out the fuse that runs the the vanity mirror lights but I just hate having a car. I've got a bunch of money tied up in this thing, and I hate just feeling like it's bootlegged together. Um, so I finally broke down and decided I wanted to buy another set of uh, sun visors. And I, I had emailed the company I bought these from originally because I was like, hey, they only lasted six months. Basically, they were said, sorry, tough luck, no warranty on the, the sun visors. So that was pretty disappointing. So anyway... I wanted to buy a replacement, but I didn't want to buy the same thing again. And everywhere I looked, pretty much everyone sold this style sun visor. Uh, the two hinges at the top, the vanity mirror light switch uh, right here in the center. And this mirror is actually smaller than what the stock C5 was. This is more of the C6 Corvette style uh, sun visor. So I didn't want to buy the same sun visor again because i have no reason to expect it would do anything different but everyone seemed to sell just this one it, they're probably all coming out of the same factory and they're just multiple outlets that sell the same thing so i did a little searching around and i got these from ecklers now ecklers claims these are uh, a genuine reproduction of the original equipment uh, sun visor. So these are the exact C5 style sun visor. And you can tell, um, let's see if I can spin this around, the vanity mirror lid and all that sort of thing is actually larger, like I was saying, on the, the stock C5 versus, I think this is the C6 style. Um, so you can kind of tell them apart. And the hinges are slightly different. And where the switch is at, it's different. And I did pop out one of these little lens covers. These just use the standard little incandescent tiny bulb. These are not the LED. I like the LED, um, but that's not what, what these are. And Eckler's claims these are made in the U.S. versus these, I'm pretty sure, are made in China. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just didn't want to buy the same thing again because why should I expect different results? So... Uh, I bought these from Eckler's. They were on sale. I got them for like 85 bucks a piece. Just a couple of observations. Uh, not that I was that picky about the sun visors to begin with, 
but there are a few differences. The, the fabric that covers them is a little different. This is more of a satin kind of texture material, whereas this is more like a cotton, a little bit more matte finish to it. I don't particularly care one versus the other, but there's a slight difference. These feel a little nicer as well, like there's more cushion uh, to them versus this. I don't know, it's a little more just cardboard with fabric stretched over it. Um, I wasn't disappointed with these when I first put them in, um, and had they lasted a long time, I would have been completely happy with these, but the, like I said, the, the vanity lid uh, broke off, so I went with these, and just observing some slight differences. Um, I don't know that otherwise I would have been that picky about it, and I can't say, obviously I was happy with these when I first put them in, um, I anticipate being happy with these initially as well. Uh, should these end up breaking or not performing the way you would expect such a basic part to work, I'll update in the comments um, if they this should break or the bulbs go out or if there's anything dumb. But So anyway, just want to show you the differences between the, the two sun visors. Um, and in case you haven't seen the other video that I did specifically on installing these, I'll show you that portion as well, um, how to get the old uh, sun visors out and how these install. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once you see it done, but I'll, I'll put that in this video as well. Okay, and we'll do kind of a quick and dirty of how to remove your old visor and install the new one. Uh, like I said, I did a, a full video on this process uh, previously, so if you want maybe a little more detail uh, or if you don't feel like uh, you can see it very well here, uh, be sure to check out the other video. I'll try to link it at the end of this video uh, so you can watch that too if this is something you're working on. Um, let's see if I can... All right, so if you see that there's a slot right there, this bezel we need to get to rotate. Now normally when you move just the visor, the bezel stays in place. Uh, what we're going to do is put uh, a little flathead uh, screwdriver in here and we'll use the visor arm for a little bit of leverage. So as we rotate this, we'll get this bezel to rotate. And as we do, then we'll be able to bring the, the visor down. Sorry, that's probably not the best viewing spot, but uh, it's a little tricky. So, we can get this to there we go you may have to take this trim ring down there we go to get the electrical connector to come loose. There we go. So we got the old one out. Okay, to reinstall, so this is the trim ring that goes up in here. There's an alignment tab, this, that will only let you install this in one position. Uh, if you'll notice, of the triangle, there are two with kind of a sharp corner and then one of them with kind of a rounded off corner. That corresponds with the triangle on the sun visor itself. Uh, so if you notice, the one is a little rounded over corner and then these two corners are, are kind of sharp. Uh, when this goes in together, obviously you'll line those up so this can kind of only go in uh, in one direction. Of course, make sure you install this over the electrical connection. There we go. I'm not entirely sure why they give you so much um, wiring here. It makes it a lot more to fish into the
There you go. And then as you rotate it, you'll feel it click into place. Um, and that's how the visor gets installed. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that's kind of the difference in the two uh, styles of sun visors for the Corvette. Uh, hopefully these hold up better than the last ones. Um, I'll let you know in six months or if they break sooner. Um, I'll post that in the comments. So if you're curious at some future date how they're holding up, uh, check the comments. I'll try to maybe pin it to the top or something if, uh, if I have a problem. If you don't see anything, you can assume they're, they're still doing okay. Uh, <coughs> as always, if you have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, whatever, uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. And as always, uh, if you like this sort of content, if it's helpful, if we hit the likes button, and if you subscribe, if you like to stay up to date uh, with whatever I'm going to post, uh, if you'll do that too, I certainly appreciate it. So as always, thanks for tuning in to this edition of Scruff's Garage. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.